Hey, it's your friend Kinsey. Let's talk about where the heck I went and then give you an update on Project Garden. Hey, I'm Kinsey. I'm a crazy homesteader with a lot of ambitions. I like to talk a lot and I'm a little goofy, but I'm passionate about intentional living and I love my family. This is our story at the Flocking Farm. Know that I was doing a video a week and I was very comfortable with that schedule. I was loving updating you all a little bit more frequently. To be totally honest, we had some family emergencies that came up. A lot of it's not totally finished being sorted through, so I don't want to talk in full about what's been going on. We weren't even sure that we were going to be able to stay here at the flocking farm. As of right now, it looks like that is gonna be the case, but with so much going on, it's been a lot to process. Bits and pieces that have been somewhat disheartening, but through it all, God prevails and we know that, right? So, Again, I really can't get into very many details at this moment in time. I'm sure I will have an update in the future. However, that is why I took a bit of a hiatus for a couple of weeks. We had so much that we were juggling and so much that we didn't know where we were going to land. That being said, let's get into the rest of the garden footage. Project Garden Day 4, I did not get nearly enough soil, so I am off to go pick up some more. I'm gonna do like half mills mix in my boxes. I don't have the budget to do total mills mix, so we're gonna fill up the bottom half of the planter boxes with our native soil and compost, then the upper half of all four boxes with the mills mix. All right, we're home, we got our soil. Let's get outside. First step for today is gonna to be finishing planting those strawberries. And then next we're gonna work on mixing up all of our compost. I'm getting really close to finishing sorting through all of this garden footage. It is my goal to only have one to two more installments in this garden series. I'd like to be able to talk with you a little bit more about some other topics and aspects of the flocking farm that I think are important and are near and dear to my heart. So if there are some questions that you have for me or things that you would like to know about, um, leave those in the comment sections down below and maybe we can do a video upcoming. All right. Strawberries are in the ground. Some of them were getting a little sad and wilty, but now I've got the sprinkler on them. There they be. I've got my tomatoes getting water on them too and the rhubarb until I can get them planted. I'm go I took out some of these upper rows because I had enough space and I wanted more of a walkway here. So tomorrow probably I'll lay another strip of fabric down here where I had cut those holes. Um, but for now, getting those filled is the current project. My trowel did end up giving out, so just using that for now. I did my best to sort through this footage to kind of hopefully speed it up. It took a really long time moving the compost with these five gallon buckets, but even though I did trip after trip after trip and it took forever, I did kind of fall in love with this project because of the amount of sweat equity that I had put into this garden. The ducks have joined us. And they're loving the little rain. Otto popped in and helped me for a hot minute, but the majority of this garden project, he was actually doing what he needed to be doing, which was working on the house, which is why I took this project over primarily by myself, though I was very thankful to have his help here and there, especially when it came to moving that compost because it became tedious and long, um, but hey, it's a free workout, so who can really complain, right? I mean, who needs to lift weights and put aside time for training when you're building a garden from scratch? <laughs> Certainly not me. I remember as a kid, we used to mix mills mix in tarps to use it, the tarps to kind of 
um, get everything evenly distributed. That wasn't really an option for me. So I just did the best that I could with a rake to mix it up and get as even of a distribution of all of the different product as I could. It's obviously, it's not the perfect system, but it ended up working well enough for me in this scenario. I still need to supplement this with some of our native soil. I know some of you out there are probably shaking your head like, you went and got the stuff to make melt mix and you're blending it with your native soil. Like I said, we're doing it imperfectly this year and that's what fits into the budget. So something's better than nothing. But um, my ducks seem to be really enjoying my garden. It kind of makes my heart happy, but I hope they don't hurt my plants. I'm gonna Google that later. There's a all of the strawberries planted. I mean, for having a day in town, keep in mind, it's an hour drive from me to town. Um, hour drive there and an hour drive back. So it's two hours in the car. Plus the time at the store. Plus fill the gas and all that good stuff. So for all of that being said, this was a significant amount of work done for the day. And then tomorrow, we'll work on all of this. And that's gonna wrap up the day. Another shave off. Hi. Good morning, good morning. It is day five here on the garden project. Right now I'm currently working on transferring all of these video files onto an external hard drive. I finally figured out how to do that on my phone. So today is officially May 31st and my hope was by June to be planting, which I think will happen. So I want to refabric over this section here and then probably add some additional fabric on some of these edges, especially this corner. Uh, because I had to move this T-post since there was a giant rock and I could not get it in the ground, I moved it in a little ways, which left quite a bit of a barrier there. Namer Parkour, yesterday she decided it would be great fun to climb underneath the black fabric where one of my strawberry plants was, which is why that plant is so smooshed. You cat, no, Namer, Namer Parkour. That cat's trouble, I tell ya. Start getting soil moved. The nice thing about this compost that I have been adding to supplement into these beds in order to reduce my cost of the mills mix is um, it has been sitting for a couple of years, so the soil's not hot anymore. Again, I've probably touched on this in an earlier video, but that's one of my arguments for getting rabbits because rabbit's droppings are extremely good for gardens since they're not hot. So you don't have to wait for them to decompose. You can just add them straight to the garden. So I got most of the bottom half of this large box filled. And I think I'm going to stop moving soil for now because Otto had brought soil up from past down the coops is where we had had our compost pile with the tractor and I've used most of what he brought me. So I'm thinking I have plenty that I can do until he gets home. I'd rather work smarter and not harder. I don't want to have to go up and down and up and down and up and down with five gallon buckets of compost soil when he can fill it up in the tractor and bring it much closer to me. I cut and stapled down this extra piece here to cover where I had had the strawberries up here that I moved down. And then I have another piece of fabric that's laying down here that still needs to be stapled and I need, I probably am going to need a little bit more at the end down here. But the fabric was too wide for right here, so I just cut it in half and that's the other half. So I'm going to piece this underneath the fence and then cut little bits here and there to where I want to fill in with more black fabric. I'm going to take a short break. Get her fed. I'm going to sit down with my seeds, take a look at what I have, what their recommended plant times are in our region, what the harvest times are so I can kind of plot out the garden a little bit. Then we'll go out there and mark our square footage. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so the goal here was to create kind of a cheat sheet with all the different seeds that I had. The big thing was figuring out, because I'm doing square foot gardening, how many per square foot of each different type of fruit or vegetable I was able to plant in that area. And then taking that data to help me plot out the garden. You'll see the biggest consideration that I had to make for plotting out the garden was where I was going to trellis because I wanted to utilize as much vertical gardening space with this setup this year as I could. Initially, I had all these trellises set up on both sides. You will see probably in a couple of days that I revised this because I realized I would have to lean in four feet in order to harvest. So I end up doing trellises on one long side and the two ends so that I can reach in on the one side three feet to be able to help myself harvest. But this was kind of my rough sketch for day one. Change of plans. It sounds like the brakes on my husband's work truck went out and he is stuck at a repair shop. So we're gonna go pick him up and if we have time, we're gonna swing by North 40 or something and see if they have any cowgirl boots that might Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. We really appreciate you tuning in. I know you could have been anywhere and you chose to spend some time with us. That truly means a lot to me and I hope you know that. Would you be terribly opposed while you're here to hit any one of the buttons? You can't pretty much go wrong. Subscribe, like, share. Anything to help us connect with more people as we grow this home community with the flocking farm on our various platforms here. I know I alluded to a little bit earlier in this video, some turmoil situation, family emergency happening. And again, I can't really go into too much at this present moment in time, but if you're praying people, we would appreciate prayers um, for wisdom and discernment and understanding on how God wants us to move forward, teaching us uh, his will for us and not ours. We always want to have our ears open to where he needs us and what he needs us to do. So helping his will manifest through us and allowing our hearts and minds to be open to what he needs us to do. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm back. I am thinking of all sorts of different content ideas for this channel. I want to start getting into talking about some more nitty gritty, deep, important stuff. If there's something in particular you are wondering, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. I would love to be able to start doing some podcast formats on different topic issues, such as biblical beliefs, homeschooling, what led us to homesteading. I would love to be able to get my mom on the channel to interview her a little bit as well and or my dad for different purposes. Again, if there is a question, a burning question that you have, please leave that in the comment section down below and we will consider doing a video on that. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. May Yah bless you and keep you until we talk again next time. And as always, till we meet again, don't be afraid to live out loud, and I'll catch you on that flippity-flop.